Welcome to TRC's Conjoint Simulator tutorial, where you'll learn how trading off various components of a product, such as brand and price, could impact the company's share of preference. For demonstration purposes, we will use a hotel example, where in addition to five different hotel brands, we also consider the room rate, distance to your destination, whether there is a restaurant or gym on site, access to Wi-Fi service, and how many reward points a guest can earn. Before you start, upon opening the Excel Conjoint Simulator, you will need to click on Enable Content or Enable Macros at the top of the sheet if these warnings appear. This just allows all the behind the scenes calculations to run. The next thing you want to do is select a number of products you would like to simulate, in our case hotels. This is done by placing a check mark above each product you wish to include in the current simulation. Simulations can include up to five products at a time. I'll select just two of them for now. Along with selecting up to five products is the ability to select a None option. Just check the None option to simulate a scenario where it's possible that none of the given products are chosen by a consumer. The results will now show the percent that chose none of the given options. To build a product, click on the drop-down box for each attribute and select which level you would like to include. If a text box is provided, fill in the box with a numeric value such as price. The range of values will vary depending on the project. Lastly, at the top of the sheet, there's a drop-down box for filters. Here you choose whether or not you want to observe results for a specific group of respondents. Notice that the corresponding sample size is shown for the filter you select. Filters can be made for any variable for which we have data, such as demographics or product-related survey questions. As you've probably noticed, the results are located in the green shading underneath the products, and they update automatically after any changes made to the products or filters. The results are in terms of share of preference which is the estimated percentage of respondents that prefer a particular product relative to the other products in a simulation. Single product share of preference represents only a single product share versus none, and it will be the same as the multiple product share of preference when only simulating one product and none. But when simulating more than one product, the multiple product share of preference is the relative share of each product in the scenario, and these shares will sum to 100%. This simulator allows you to build any combination of products and to see how the shares look across the board. Here are some quick examples of how the simulator could be used. For starters, we could measure the price curve of a particular product. This is done by manipulating the price while keeping all other attributes constant and observing the changes in share of preference. Similarly, we can observe the impact any particular attribute has on a product by varying its levels and observing the resulting change in shares. An attribute whose levels result in larger changes in share is thought to be more important to respondents when choosing a product. These simulations can all be done either observing one product at a time or in a competitive setting where several products of different brands are competing for share. There are many different ways to use this simulator beyond the examples demonstrated here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be happy to guide you through the advantages of this very useful and powerful tool.